and it's a big brand like they have the page was even verified the instagram page was verified so you know it seemed really true like i almost fell for it <laughs> hi guys welcome back to the channel my name is ada if this is your first time on this channel you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back so guys today i'm going to be talking to you guys about something that happened to me a while back like this shit was real so um i got this email from this company it's a popular brand um more like the way you have gucci like a designer clothing brand so they reached out to me via email, Gmail actually, because my Gmail is on my Instagram page and pretty much is on, on all of my social media platform. So they reached out to me saying, I'm going to put a, the email on the screen so you guys can just go through it. Yeah, I kept all of this. Like, I don't know. Usually I don't keep stuff like that. I just delete it. But this one, like, they almost caught me for the bill. So I'm going to put the email on the screen so you guys can just, like, go through it take a screenshot of it and just you know know what to look out for like these things are going on this one was called the sigua so they reached out to me on um via email saying they wanted me to do makeup for some of their models it's a, it's a clothing brand i might even put the logo of the company i'm not sure the thing is right now i don't know if it's a company or maybe it's just this scammers that is just using the company logo obviously using this company logo to scam people just like where you have pretty little thing one first star can just come into your email and tell you oh i work with pretty little thing i want you to do this for me blah 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 and they try to scam you with pretty little things name so the name of the brand is the sigua when they reached out to me i was so excited like who's not going to be excited for a thing like that i was so excited i went to the um instagram page of the company and i just looked through it and i saw what they did was pretty much a very high-end type of clothing brand so you know what to expect. So they wanted me to do makeup for some the models and they gave me the date. It was supposed to be for like a three day shoot. Um, I'm going to be on site. They wanted us to be like um, all the people working on that day were supposed to be like on a uniform, like branded clothing saying, oh, makeup artist with the Sigua logo in front. So they asked for my measurements. They said they're going to provide every makeup item I was going to use. Mind you, I've never done anything like this before. I didn't even know what to expect. Like, this was my first time. So, I was excited. They asked me for my price. I gave them a price and they were like, okay, sure. They're going to send me, um, it was a part payment and they was going to send me a check. Um, okay, fine. I didn't expect it to happen so quick because at the time they reached out to me, it was like previous, like a month to the time, like the date of the actual shoot. So we had time. But that same week, I got a check in the mail on my name from this same so-called company, like they were paying me for the work to do. And I was like, hmm, that was really fast. That wasn't just it. Like apart from them sending the money really fast, they sent me more than what I requested for. I think it was over $2,000 of what I requested for. And I was like, immediately I took a picture of the check and I emailed it back to him. Okay, first of all, even before we even get to the money part, like, I'm so pissed. Like, really, we all know how hard it is to make money in this country. We all know how hard it is to make, even if it's a dollar. So someone trying to scam you of that huge of an amount. So before then, when this person reached out to me and they were sending emails, I requested to speak to somebody over the phone. But they just kept on saying, um, at this time, you cannot speak to anybody on the phone giving me flimsy excuses i was like uh-uh i'm gonna be more comfortable with speaking to somebody like uh-uh they prefer talking to me via email because of the just for record purposes i'll be evident purposes how did they even say it but i think what they were doing is because i know for sure companies like to have emails which is going to be like more of like an evidence just to show you people had this conversation or agreement or something like that i was like okay but for me i rather um have a phone conversation because initially we, there was so much confusion um i just wanted to speak to someone over the phone so like everything is clear but we only contacted through emails they didn't let me speak to anybody 
the phone number I saw there, I was calling, nobody picked, and they said I should stop calling, that at this time, they can only reach out to me via email, which I said, okay. So when they now sent the money, that one allows, I wasn't comfortable with it, because why can't I speak to somebody, even if it's the customer service personnel or something, let me just speak to some. let me know this is real people, you know, they just kept on sending me emails and everything, putting me through. Um, I could come with one person um, to the day of the shoot. I could come with an assistant pretty much, but they were going to provide every makeup item I was going to use, which I was like, okay, fine by me. So that day, before the day even came, they already sent me a check in the mail. When they sent the money, it was way more than what I requested for. I took a picture of it and I sent to the to the email that I've been reaching out to him like, ah, you guys sent me. We're all like, oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> Wait, who makes mistake like that? Like this is supposed to be a company, like a known company. Why would you make a mistake with a thing like that? You know, that's a huge amount of money, over two thousand dollars, and you're saying it's a mistake. So the, what? It was a Friday. I got a check on a Friday, so it, it, it was like, oh, it's a mistake. Um, that I should please send them back the. 2000 that was extra that was more than what i requested for i'm like okay and um immediately i um deposited the check into my account i just took a picture and there was like online banking that was fast i wasn't ready to because the check came in late like evening when i went to check my email that's when i said like i'm past six or seven so it was late already so i just did it on my phone like okay and whenever i receive the money like it reflects in my account i'm just going to send them back whatever the balance was whatever the difference was that was what I had in mind. So I did the deposit Saturday morning. I went to bed. Usually I put my phone on silent. It was barely even like, I don't think it was about 8 a.m. in the morning. I'd gotten a bunch of emails on my phone saying, um, could you please send back the, the 2000 extra that was more than what we sent to you? Like it's urgent. I'm like, what is going on? Why are you people pressuring me to send back money that you sent to me that you claimed was a mistake? So I got like very, very uncomfortable. At some point, the email just kept I, like a whole bunch of email. Already, I was already feeling very uncomfortable. So um, I spoke to my husband. I was like, mm, this thing doesn't seem right. Like if it was a mistake, why are they not pressuring you to send it back to them right away? So it was a Saturday morning. I had to wait for the bank to open, which was around 9. So I just like got dressed and I went to the bank. And I went into the banking hall and I spoke to one of the tellers there. And she said, I got a shocker of my life. Like, I was dumbfounded. Like, the cashier said, um, this is what has been going on. That this is not the first time she would see and see something like that, that it was fraud. That the money I deposited into my account... My account was likely to be closed because it's fraud. It's a fraudulent check. My mouth was like this. I was like, eh? Fraud care. That what they do is they send you this fake check, the so-called fake check that they're paying you to do something. And they tell you, oh, they sent, made a mistake and paid you more than for you to send back the equivalent to them. So the minute you fall for it, like maybe I was eager and I just sent them back that 2000 That's it. That was the end of it. I, I could remember vividly, like, when I, he kept on emailing me, like, why are you taking so long to send back the money? If you know you are being genuine. I, I said, I'm actually going to the bank to verify why the deposit hasn't reflected into my account. I was even very much polite to him. And they were like, why do you have to go to the bank? Why can't you just send it from your account? And when the money reflects on your account, you send, you just like replace it back with what you sent to me. At that point, I already knew, okay, this is becoming very, very, like it's beginning to sing. Like obviously there is something. So when I got to the bank, you know, the lady told me everything. I just, at that point, I just, <laughs> I was disappointed. I was, I was like, why would anybody want to do this? But apparently, I guess since the COVID time, a lot of fraudulent things are, like this has been going on. It was not quite long ago, I now saw a video similar like this on, on TikTok, that this lady was saying, oh, she almost fell a victim of this fraudulent thing that is going on right now. I think it happens to mostly 
makeup artists, um, people in the beauty industry, they reach out to you, sending you emails, telling you they want to work with you. Like every, <laughs> every artist wants that. Everybody wants to work with a big brand. Everybody wants to um, get known and, you know, do more of this type of collaboration. You know, it's just good for your brand. It's good. It's good money. It's good everything. But the thing is, since then, I've just been very careful with emails. And since... I left the bank. If I tell you this person did not email me again because he knew obviously for the fact that I'd gotten to the bank, they would have told me everything. I wanted to send email like, oh, you first I probably cost him out or something. But you know, I just felt like I just I was just tired of like I was just stressed, I was just tired, I was disappointed, I was sad to be as to be honest with you. And I didn't even email him up until now. Those emails on my phone, I don't know why I kept them there till today, but the emails are still on my phone. The number is still on my phone. You know, um, yeah, I just left everything there. But now I know, like, if ever a brand reaches out to me, there should be a more concrete evidence because, trust me, there are a lot of fraud going out there to be like a lot. It is even too much. It is alarming. Like, you have to be very, very careful if you are. A business person, um, you're self-employed doing your thing. You don't have any management that you work with. Like for me, I do everything all by myself. So I have to verify all this email. have to, <laughs> you know, speak to the brand or speak to whoever is reaching out to me to work with me. So there's a lot I have to do all by myself. So if maybe if I had a management or a manager that manages me, they will be able to figure out these things. But I have to do everything myself. So this is something we should all look out for be careful because trust me this dollar is not easy to make it's very hard to make even if it's a single dollar for someone to just come and just take your money away i feel that is really really that is not fair that is really really that's crazy so yeah i just wanted to share this with you guys like i've had this for this happened to me a while ago and I've just been like, okay, I'm going to make this video and just let somebody know and save somebody. Maybe if I had seen a video like this online, maybe on Instagram or the one I saw on TikTok, I later saw on TikTok, maybe I would have had in the back of my head, like, oh, scam, I wouldn't have paid so much attention. But it was just the effort of, oh, oh, they are reaching out to me. I was excited. I was already planning on, you know, I already went to the website looking at what they do because this is what they do. Models trying on the brown's outfit like what they sell and it's a big brand like they have the page was even verified the instagram page was verified so you know it seemed really true like i almost fell for it but thank god i did not fall for it lesson learned like whenever i get this type of email and funny enough since then two actual people have reached which reach out to me with that kind of email like oh they want to work with me on these certain days all of them these people are so dumb like this fraud these fraudsters they are so so dumb they all come out with the same pattern of email but they just change the names and the dates like come to think about me that i've seen this type of email do you think i'm going to fall for it again so but two other people reach out to me saying the same thing different dates different brand name saying they want to collaborate i just ignored and just blocked them but this actual one i just kept because i knew one day i was going to make a video about it to just you know let people know this is something that is going on if you've not fallen a victim for it just be at a lot and yeah don't don't send money to anybody if they're going to pay you for a job let them pay you but the minute they start asking you to send money back just know it's a fraud and i was lucky that ended up not um they ended up not blocking down my account because the cashier told me they were going to block my account because when they pay when i whenever you pay a fraud line check into your account auto automatically the bank just closed down the account but i was lucky they didn't close down my business account and i'm so grateful I think they only charged me for it. I think I paid a fee. Was it twelve dollar or something like that? I can't remember, but my account is still there. It didn't get it didn't get shut down. But since then, I've just been aware. Like ah, these people, whenever they come, I know what to expect. 
so guys <laughs> that'll be it for this video i hope it's not too long but yeah this is just for information purposes to let you guys know what is going on if you're a business person if you know someone who does who is a makeup artist or who's into business who renders services you can share this video with them because they are at the risk of falling a victim to these people that are trying to scam them of their hard hair money so guys this is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something and if you love this look if you're loving this color on me just leave a comment down below and tell me how that you look beautiful by the way guys I styled this hair, I colored it, I installed it myself. Makeup by me, of course. <laughs> yeah, just to look good for you guys. Yes. So, guys, give this video a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed already, please subscribe, share with your friends and your family, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare.